Hello River Landing. I hope you are enjoying this fall weather. The CEO of a company called one of his employees into his office. Rob, he said, you've been with the company for two years now. You started in the mailroom, and a month later you were promoted to a sales position. In six months, you were promoted to district manager of the sales department, and you've been my vice president for almost a year. Rob, I think I'm going to retire, and I want you to take over the company. What do you have to say about that? Thanks, said Rob. Thanks, the boss replied. I'm turning the company over to you, and all you can say is thanks? Okay, okay, Rob said. Thanks, Dad. What we inherit isn't always an asset. Sometimes we inherit the trauma and unresolved conflict of our ancestors. Just ask the Hatfields and McCoys, or Israel and the Palestinians. Most of them weren't yet born when Israel became a nation, but in addition to land, Israel and Palestine have inherited animosity, mistrust, war, and political stalemate. They live in constant conflict they inherited, and it has erupted again with the recent attack by the terror group Hamas. Violence always begets more violence and also silences those who advocate for diplomacy and peace. An Israeli soldier, 19 years old, was on patrol near Gaza City a few years back. He was hit in the back by a rock, and then another hit his helmet. He turned with gun ready to see that they were being thrown by Palestinian children. Children imitate what they see and hear. The soldier could not ignore their actions, but neither did he want to escalate them. He bent down and picked up the rocks and started juggling. The kid stopped throwing and moved closer. He did some tricks and the children laughed, then concluded with a flourish and the children applauded. He bowed and walked away. He didn't solve the existential problem, but he broke a cycle of violence, not with bullets or rockets, but with a human connection. We can do this. We must do this. Or we will pass violence here on to our grandchildren. They don't deserve that inheritance. Have a blessed week, my friends.